we go to bed tired every night with sore muscles and dirty fingernails, but I love it, yeah. Feels good to be able to grow food for people. I think we're returning to some grassroots and trying to do things the way they were done maybe 50 years ago, the way they are still being done in Europe, and there's a return to that because people want a product that is direct and smooth and sustainable. We're coming from the city to the source of where everything's coming from. So the idea behind the dinner and, and doing what we do here is that uh, so often we take these farmers' ingredients and we bring them into our cities and into our restaurants and people get to taste them there, but this is reverse engineering it and bringing it back to the farm. So it's actually a really exciting and important event, I think, for rural Alberta because it starts to put the spotlight back on where everything's coming from. So that's kind of why I'm excited about Markerville. Instead of doing a collaborative dinner in our home in, in Calgary, we've actually come out to the farms where we, uh, we have relationships with all these farmers and producers and we're doing a dinner here uh, that involves them and we're bringing actually people from the city to Markerville. And it's the first time I've seen that happen where we're doing it in rural Alberta. The role of the farmer in Alberta is crucial because there's not a lot of things you can grow in our climate. And we have actually a lot of creative farmers out here that are trying to push the envelope and try new things. It gives us a whole sense of Alberta pride when we're serving our own local produce. Not only does it taste better because you can get it fresher, but it really makes you feel good like it's coming from, from your own garden. It was really special to see our food on the table like that when the chefs were preparing them and the comments that people made about our, the quality that the, you know the taste and the quality of the freshness it was it, one of those moments where you are proud of what you did and you feel good that was amazing that was absolutely amazing and the fact that that there were six chefs who calmly and quietly and creatively created all that product out of raw materials that they had been handed a day or two before and utilized all those ingredients. Um, it was just amazing and everybody that was there I think was, was impressed and surprised and pleased. It was essential that the food producers were involved in this dinner because uh, again just getting back to where it comes from they provided the food for us so we have this great opportunity to give them a uh, a, a, a seat at the table. They're always disconnected from the table and maybe it'll give them some inspiration and, and, and in turn they inspire us every day so maybe we can take some of that inspiration and give it back to them and keep them passionate about the food that they grow because uh, it's what fuels us, great ingredients. So. We need to celebrate and understand and appreciate every day what ingredients we have around us, utilize them more, help the farmers grow, make more farms, make more ingredients, and enjoy the food that's right in front of us.